thirsty and 30. Thirsty and 30. Good evening, Sherry, and to our very dateable crowd. We are actually on episode 29 of Thirsty and 30, the Blind Eating the Blind chat show on Smarter Love. You know, Sherry, our goal has always been to help people improve their relationships with themselves and others. So the thing here is like Sherry and I have made mistakes so that you guys don't have to. And I'm Bea, your co-host and non-expert. I like that you use smarter love now. But I'm feeling like we're about to that. I think so. But we've learned Medyo. from our mistakes, right? We're not going to be able to do that. We're going to be Hi, guys. Hi to the Thirsty audience. Special hello to our usual viewer, Jess. Hi. So I'm Shari. Before we jump in, please do us a tiny favor and click subscribe. I know you're all feeling a bit down in the dumps lately with cases going up and another lockdown. But tonight, we're going to give you a bit of hope laughter and wisdom through our guests so wind down grab a drink whatever beverage you want just be with us for like an hour or 10 joke lang, an hour or so i know one hour lang naman so uh -oh, hour. you know sherry i've been reading um the power of now which i don't even know why i started reading it so yeah, tonight, you've been reading it for one month yeah, exactly. Mahirap siya. Mahirap siya i-digest. But tonight, be present and forget about the outside situation for a moment. And I guess, guys, start a watch party. You guys are there. Please comment on the chat. We want to know who's with us tonight and so we can say hi to you. And of course, mm -hmm. we want to, yeah, we really want your questions. I think that's important. We have three girls today and I think all of you want to ask a couple of questions and yeah, we'll, we'll ask away, right? Yep, so Bea, our topic tonight is inspired by the recurring questions we get from the titas and the titas of Manila. Are you dating anybody? <laughs> when are you gonna get married? Or sometimes the very fun, Kailan ka magkakaanak? Teka lang ha, step one muna. Tapa akong boyfriend eh. <laughs> you know, I love your response to those questions because I also get the same questions. And my response is always silence or, you know, the death stare, but your favorite my favorite response of yours is, mm -hmm. Sino nga ba ang ayaw? Is that totoo? Sino nga? Sino nga? So, ko naman eh. Why are you asking me? Hindi ko alam kung bakit wala. <laughs> and you know, Sherry, I've actually been watching Bridgerton and kind of makes me feel like times haven't changed, that women still feel the pressure that they did. And of course, Bridgerton is very sexy to watch, right? I don't know if anyone's yep. watched it. Uh, but the main point here is pressures don't change. <laughs> And women especially have to think about their biological clock, if they're marriage worthy, their currency in society. Um, I couldn't invite the celebrities in Bridgerton, so I invited three other celebrities who happen to be my cousins. I, I mean, I just think that they're in different stages of their lives, which is very important for tonight. And of course, I want to describe them one by one. But if I mean, you met them, Sherry, behind or backstage, and they are very charismatic and uniquely beautiful women, right? Yeah. Yep, for sure. So let me just do an introduction before we bring them in. Uh, we've got Trish. She is the eldest, very passionate about fitness. And if I could just say, she's really fiercely independent and single. And Chesky, middle child, lives in Singapore at the moment and works for Unilever. Just an amazing, you know, I guess, well-rounded woman and married. 
And lastly, we've got Steph, the youngest taken, and this woman among many talents that she has, she can dance, by the way. But all three, like they're just wow. So and of course, mm -hmm. they should hire me as a cheerleader. But their family <laughs> runs JMA Jewelry, where the best engagement rings come from. And I think uh, we have to ask them how do we get one? <laughs> how? <laughs> How? Yeah, ha? Exactly. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're okay, so them out. Is Trish. There you go. Hi guys. Welcome to our <laughs> Hello. show. Hello. Hi. Thanks for having us. Thanks for the intro, Bea. You really <laughs> are our content. Okay, so guys, are you ready? to share, to make Bulgar everything. Joke lang. Okay, so tonight, guys, you will chat through accepting and dealing with pressures. We have a two-step process here. So, of course, and also, more importantly, we will deep dive into your own personal stories. But yeah, before that, yeah. we have our that. traditional anon <laughs> anonymous letter. So wow, feel free to so give. Wow. I oh, thought that comes in the middle. Okay, no, we game. start at the start. Now. Okay, guys, I prepare your advice. Dear TNT, I've been officially dating this new guy for five months. Yes, pandemic success. He's everything I've ever asked for. Tall, funny, and smart. He charmed me instantly. In January 2021, he met my family and my best friends. They were not charmed. I thought the meeting went well, but I was wrong. They are usually a pretty easygoing bunch, but they said he was cocky and masama kotob nila about him. I do not see what they're talking about. Um, fast forward to today, I am head over heels. I think I may even love this guy. My mom still insists that he is not the one. She or my friends can't give me a specific reason why they don't like him. Um, so I'm confused and annoyed. I really like him. Should I listen to them or should I follow my heart? Love, Anonymous. That's interesting. Okay, maybe I'll go first. Okay, Steph. Well the youngest goes first. <laughs> me? Oh my gosh. Well, for me, it's strange that they can't pinpoint why they yeah. don't like the guy. So parang, until they give a really valid reason as to why they don't like the guy, then I think this girl should just really go for it. Because I if she's saying that, I think I really love this guy. Mm, yeah. So yeah. go for it. Like, for oh, me really? also, I wouldn't... To be honest, like stepping back though, I wouldn't take offense with like my family giving all these comments. Obviously, they want what's best for you. So they're probably very protective, as am I with my siblings. So whenever anyone gets introduced, like you know, the, the person, right? So yeah. um, especially if this is like someone, I mean, you obviously care for your sister or whatever. So you want um, to really be very critical with that person. But Especially if it's been like a few months now and you've exposed this person for a long time, then probably like they find something that is not com they're not comfortable with. But I, I suppose that but they'll explain it a little bit more, right? So if there's no justifiable reason, then you know might as well go with your gut because sometimes it's not about it's not about um, factual stuff. It's sort of how you feel, what's in your heart, right? And if it's so sobering strong, then might as well go for it. Hmm. Trish, I have nothing agree. to add. I'm, I'm kidding. But like, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I agree with what they said. Um, I think I went through something similar, but like you you kind of allow, you you actually help also your partner, who, whoever you like. Mm -hmm. Na magustuhan din siya ng, ng family mo or mm -hmm. your friends. If, if it's, especially like, if you see a future with this person, champre, you'll end up like they'll they can't avoid that person. So it's also partly your responsibility to ease him into that. Um, but yeah, I, I think unless they were able to pinpoint what exactly they don't like about him, there's no reason for you to stop. Um, although if you 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 see a certain red flag, Eddie, I guess there's there's something you can look into. But unless there's that one thing or or some details that they can explain to you, then I guess you still continue. Hmm. So anonymous proceed, but with caution. Yeah. I do have yeah. advice, mm -hmm. a practical advice. I've been doing research because yeah, yeah. I'm also okay, this yeah. What do you do? I am us against <laughs> the world. Lahat ng mga lala. Actually, the last, um, 
a few weeks, a months ago, someone sent me a message of a photo, a photo of someone I dated in college, and they're like, yeah. "Sino tong lalaki na to?" <laughs> I oh knew my that God. no one really liked them. So, there's two questions I think you should always ask, like your friends and family, how you are with that person when you're yeah. dating that person, and then how they are. So there's two parts. Yeah. Eh. The person should Bea, be have, good. Bea, I yeah. have to add this one. <laughs> I've learned from my Cara, hey, Cara. Late. my introduction is we've made the mistake so you don't have to. So yeah. Yeah. My point is you should ask how you are with that person and how that person is around you. Those two mm-hmm. things. And then that yeah. will make your judgment, make a scorecard, and then count. So do it. Yeah. Wow, well, yeah. Well, <laughs> research. <laughs> Super realistic, Bea. Yeah. I love you going through this. <laughs> the question is, who was that guy? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you know, the name listening. Uh, you know what? I have a few na questionable um, decisions, I would hmm. say. <laughs> um, but it was Don't fun. we was, all? Yes. Who yeah. are you? <laughs> so, you guys, you have a lot of highs for you. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi, friend. Hi. Okay. Hi everybody! Wow. Hello. Also, okay. we have our loyal listener. Where is she? Jessica. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Please listen. Hello. <laughs> okay. okay. So, oh. thanks for your advice, guys, and hopefully, Sharika, what do you think? I said proceed with caution. I yes. highlight on caution, caution, but proceed. Mm-hmm. Okay, how about everyone who's listening to us, please give us advice also for this girl. Okay, while we wait for everyone's advice, we're going to play a game to warm you up because I know everyone is here to find out a little bit about your personal love stories and whatever is going on in your mind and heart. So we'll start off with a warm up. Um, This is called the Pinaka. So (laughs) it's the most interesting game name. I will say an adjective in Tagalog and you will each say who is that among you three, okay? Okay, interesting. Okay, number one. Walang pikuna na, walang pikuna. And please, please, <laughs> audience, um, please chime in. Also. Oh, yeah, exactly, chime in. Okay, number one, pinaka consentadora. Oh my God, sama ka magtagal. Consentadora? <laughs> yeah, in terms wala. of... Wala? Mm, maybe me. Ate, para ate, Chess. Oh, me. Oh. I'm very patient, eh. Oh, no. Very patient. Eh, consentidor. Not like, ano yung mga Tagalog kasi. No, but like, <laughs> it's related. Okay, no. whatever. Okay, Chesky. Okay, ito. Pinaka malande. Chesky. Ato Ches. Now, Ato Trish. Ay, joke lang. <laughs> no, assuming we're all pandemic. single, ah. Assuming when I was younger. Single. Uh-oh, all yeah. single chest. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, pinaka pakipot. Adetrish. Yeah, me. So, alam niya so, eh. Okay, <laughs> pinaka maldita. Ako, ah. We're all maldita. Eh. I think we yeah. all are. Yeah. Lahat. Yeah. <laughs> lahat maldita. Right now, I think yeah. right now si Steph yung pinaka. Some would mm-hmm. argue. you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, which is um, like okay by me. Okay, love, love <laughs> yourself. <laughs> okay, pinaka mabait. Me. Okay, okay. okay. Sorry, no arguments here, guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Eto, pinaka favorite. Oh my I god! I think all Add of us rich. in different angles. Pero feeling nyo lagi ako. Sa oh. Okay. Pero minsan, mama. <laughs> I mean, I think all of us. I think your mom, your mom and dad need to confirm this. Please comment on the chat box. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, pinaka maalaga. Me. Uh, Tetris. I think no. all, all. the two of them. Least ako. Okay. Okay. Admittedly. <laughs> okay. Pinaka wife material. Uh, all. All. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's you have to believe in yourself, Sherry. To put yeah. a ring on it. That's our last question. How do we get a ring on it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pinaka iyakin. At the chest. Mm. Hi. All right. Last two. 
Um, pinaka walang puso. <laughs> That's hard. Grabe! Saan galing tong question na to? Wala. Lahat Wala. meron. Ay, yeah. Last. Yeah. Okay, we're, this show is about smarter love, so we're gonna ask pinaka matalino. Seth. Talaga? Like, di like ka, what a, you think? Girl, girl yeah. Yeah. Boy. Oh. Wait, sa oh pag-ibig or sa, ano, sa mga quiz. <laughs> sa school. <laughs> Your mom has Smart. confirmed. Oh, oh, my, my favorite. favorite. Thank oh, you. Wow. Yeah, okay, thanks, thank you. Thank you. Somebody also said, Iyakin, Iyakin si Chesky. <laughs> Confirmed. Uh-huh. Okay, so guys, let's jump right in. Accepting and understanding pressures. So we all okay. go through pressures. What are some of the pressures you felt from family and friends when it comes to relationships? So, Trish, okay. I guess you can start with you. Um, Pressures I felt, I think... Uh, it's more familial and societal expectations for me. Like for a 31 year old, they expect you to to have a family or at least have a boyfriend or be at a certain stage in your life. I think mm. that would be like the pressure mm. I have right now, but no, I don't care. <laughs> how do you deal? I mean, I know you don't care, but how do you deal yeah. with it? Because mm-hmm. it's it's uh. really easy to say I don't care, but yeah. It can be repetitive, right? I mean, we have a big audience here. I'm sure all of them have asked you at some yeah. point. This is like the the question I get asked almost every day, also at work. So <laughs> I think I, I've come into that like acceptance already. Um, I've I've embraced where I am in my life. And then I learned to shut down like unnecessary noise. It helps when when you have like your trusted core people, mentors that you you want to listen to. And 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 you just respect what they tell you, and then and then also have that um, what do you say? Uh, how do you call it? Uh, know that the things that you want to work on with yourself, where whichever stage you are in in your life, you accept where you wanna go, go to. No, because there's no there's no formula in. And pattern in life, and that's what I learned. So, so for me, wherever I am, I'm embracing what I have now, and and just enjoy where I am. Cause like it's so hard when you're always looking ahead and forward. Yeah, it's nice to look in the future, but like, but, but you also have to live in the present. So, yun, that's that's what I learned. Did you ever get upset when you were younger? Cause like. I mean, yeah. now we're kind of maturing, right? I mean, the pandemic yeah. has definitely speeded up the maturity. <laughs> but when we were younger, I'm sure, like, you would, I, I don't know, like, maybe... Most, anno- like, most annoying thing, the comment yeah. that you've heard. Um, most annoying? Uh, I think when they say I'm single and then I'm lonely, or I think the, the, the one that I got annoyed a little or more of disappointed that you they would say that na parang oh you're single you're baka you like girls ganyan it came to a point na ganun na so parang in yeah na parang can't you be uh can't you be happy without a partner parang for me i always um was okay with where i i am at eh. so parang when when they see syempre siguro that's their definition of happiness but to me i'm i was contented with where i was and I, I stopped comparing myself from my sisters, let's say, who are very happy with their relationships. But as long as you keep on, on focusing on what you don't have, then it's not going to be a happy life for you. So, yun, um, yeah. How about you, Steph? I mean, you've been in a long-term relationship, but I'm assuming there are pressures that you feel also. Can you share a few? Um, I guess mostly coming from at the chess, getting married, and then... Parang people, you know, changing direction and suddenly looking at me and like, oh, ikaw, kailan ka? <laughs> so parang mm-hmm. ako, parang, kailangan ba sunod-sunod? But hi, Jao. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess yeah. it's that kind of Jao. pressure. But, Jao, oh, I, I think si Jao ka. handles it so much better. He's just like, oh, oh, dalating din yan, ganun. May mga comments siyang ganun eh. But it's mostly just that. But I guess, yun, like what also Ate Trish was saying, there's no one pace or one timeline for all people and it's just a matter of understanding where you are in your relationship and being confident and happy enough in it yeah uh, Ch- chesky how about you oh and go i'm ahead, wondering Bea. Steph, did you like 
do you get affected when people ask you like before like maybe during the wedding did it kind of tick you off or put you in a bad mood because sometimes Not it's like that you're, in a, you're in a dinner and a lunch and they say it and you're like sino ba nga talagang ayaw diba <laughs> yeah oh, i think the worst that talaga during the wedding was someone congratulated me oh what thinking that i was at the biggest thought i was you yeah there you go yeah uh, it's okay. like wedding night and then someone said congratulations and i said i'm in pink and she said, why? That's the good one. Oh, when it happens. And, and I just say, oh, it will happen when it happens. So, yeah. So, how about you, Chelsea, as a married woman, still pressured um, by people? Always. I think it's the same. I think whatever stage the man in your life, there's always gonna be some form of like pressure. Like whether you're single and then kailangan you're dating someone, when you're already dating someone and ang tagal niyo mab may engage, and then now I'm married. It's like I guess the new conversation piece now is when are you gonna have a child? And it's parang I mean, no one's ever gonna not say anything because sometimes I think in our culture it's like a like a conversation starter. But yeah. um, <laughs> at the end of the day, parang like when is it gonna stop right so it sort of gets into your head especially then like okay when you go on instagram now all of your friends are probably our batchmates are probably already popping uh babies right and left and yeah i mean i want the same for myself but parang i don't want to let it get to me na parang okay how come in their timings they're already able to do this and i'm not so that pressure is always there but it's just a matter of being very sure about where you want to be in your life and just not letting yourself be um, I guess swayed by what other people expect you to be or um, mm-hmm. be doing at a certain point in your life. Yeah, it's yeah. so funny when you say about the child. Like I've seen people that they're breastfeeding, and then people are asking them when they're gonna have their next child, and they're right? <laughs> like, guys, no, relax. No, no, relax. <laughs> Bea, how about you? What pressures do you feel since <laughs> your, family, your family's watching? Also, tell me, tell tell Hi, the Hi, Rico. I'm here. Hi, I'm sure they're there. We've come a long way. They definitely uh, don't ask as much as they used to. I think they know that I'm happy being alone. <laughs> uh, they call me. Like, sometimes they call me. Hi, hey, five, Bea. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, high five, nga yan. I see him on a high five. But um, they were like, "You're a loner, talaga." No, I was like, "No, there's nothing wrong with it." I think yeah, at some sense, you have to enjoy your um alone time. Do I want a stable relationship? Yes, for you sure. Know, yeah. let's, let's claim it. <laughs> but um, we are accepting candidates. Please submit in a discreet <laughs> way on thirstyandthirty.club on the website <laughs> but yeah i mean it's, before it was worse i think maybe when i um maybe a few years ago i would hear it more often like um they would try to set me up with a doctor with a lawyer with i think my grandmother mamita always had a picture of me around so whether she's playing bingo or whatever she always <laughs> tried to show my photo which is Fine, you have to laugh it. I think with a certain pressures, you can take it so seriously. So um, yeah. just laugh a little bit about it and um, enjoy your alone time. That's the thing that's the right person for you. Yeah. Enjoying yeah. your alone time is good relationship advice. So ladies, what is the best and worst relationship advice that you guys have gotten in your lives? If you can think of one. We can start with, uh, Steph, let's start with you this time. Um, I have a reason one. It's not exactly the best, but I feel like parang siya yung talagang tumatak sa akin in um, recent times. So I have, we have the client in store and then she was asking me, it was around Christmas, and then she was asking me what I was going to get Jao for Christmas. And then I think at around that time or the past few years then kasi we haven't been giving each other gifts because we were like, oh, let's just not give each other gifts. Um, it's too hard. Uh, let's just focus on maybe giving our family members gifts. But then my client was like, don't train your partner to not give you gifts <laughs> yeah I was like, oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. you know my husband still gives me gifts for my birthday for valentine's for all of our anniversary so i was like i didn't think about that something like that don't train him not to so <laughs> parang, these are like the best train. advice but recently i was really like hmm, that's actually 
I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Listen to me. Follow me. Look at me. Yes, birthday She's gift and particular. Separate. Oh my god. Oh, I have birthday sub 13. Sub 13 siya then sub 14 yeah. Valentine's. Grabe. Kailangan and separate. Mayor, remember this problem you had before with where someone gave you a gift and you didn't like it and I I I went through that same thing before. So yeah. what I did oh. is I made a like list of things I want for the rest of the year. Like I have an elf care <laughs> page that I constantly update just so there are no surprises that I do not like. Yeah. <laughs> That's be practical. Come to think of it, that's real, realistic and practical. Guess you get something registry. that you don't like. Yeah. My registry all forever. It makes me happy just to add stuff, even if I don't know if I'll get it. Right. Oh, you know, uh, guys. I'll make a Pinterest tell board. Your, tell, tell your dad that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Trish, how about you? Yeah. Best plan or relationship advice, man? Um, I think in in the stage of my life, I think the best one I got was like never be scared to fail or to make mistakes. Because I think like for somebody, sure, like you, your 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 room for error at this age is kind of small, right? And and as much as small as possible, it's you you keep it at a marginal level, mm-hmm. and and it. Sometimes, given that you you end up like trying to control situations too much, so I think, and that that's what exactly I did when I went abroad. When I went to New York, I learned to like just allow myself to be vulnerable and to feel. And then if I it doesn't turn out well, then that's fine. But at least you tried. Kasi parang it's for forever like this this whole imagination lang, or it's just in your head, and you never get to experience things anymore because you try to control what you want. So yon. Hmm. I think that's like the best advice I got from a lot of people. My mom, um, my friends who are already married. Yon. I love that. Don't for, don't be afraid to fail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, let's talk about New York first. I want to oh, know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna Is skip that there? and go to Tuskegee. So because how was dating life in New York? Yes, what happened there? I want to know. It's just segue. Wow, ang galing nyo, ha? Uh, what happened in New York? I think it was the perfect scenario wherein there's nobody like constantly in your ear telling you what not to do and what to do. So I think at the, it, it's a it's super perfect because like I was in a place wherein all of my friends were constantly rooting for me and and they they guided me but then didn't didn't tell me not to do things, so allowed me to make mistakes. So like, yeah, I was able to date like two people in a, what five months? Something I never <laughs> did in years. I would, I'm like, I never dated people like rarely, like maybe so one. So proud of you, girl. One in so three years or five years. names. Yeah. No names. No. Yeah, but share, but Yon, it it really helps when you're in a situation or environment wherein everyone's just pro. Like you, just do what you want. But then they're guiding you at the background. Like when I dated my friend, uh, that person, my friends were nearby or they knew where I was. So it wasn't really that bad. So parang mm. meron parang ano, may may help parin, may guidance. <laughs> if I needed, like, oh. uh-uh. I was gonna say these lights. Okay, I was gonna play the song Empire State of Mind. Wala pa tayong sound effects. Ayan. Yeah, it's it's a joke. Joke. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Uh, Grab it. The song. That was the song that was playing in my head while you were uh, yeah. making this. Um, more, points for more points for Jao. More points for Jao. Yeah. Someone that's so, a ticket to Trish, please. When, yeah. When <laughs> Jana said you should have met New York Trish. So I made my I, I gave myself an alias pa. So parang when I was there, they called they called me Kenny because it was a totally different person. They couldn't recognize who I was because I was yes Trish. I was drinking. Yes. I was dancing. I was partying. <laughs> Completely different, Bea. You've never seen that side of me. I <laughs> had to hold her down. Trish. I want to travel with Kenny. Yeah. Trish, why do you think Kenny can't be here in Manila? Bakit Kenny is reserved for New York? It's a very I, think I love also. this question. That's an amazing <laughs> question. question. I think... This is Oprah. But honestly, like, when I got back, I tried my best to bring that side of me. But siyempre, yeah. siyempre you worry about reputation, what people think. But I think it, it kind. I think I would like to think half of me is still like that Kenny side right now. 
if hindi lang lockdown, you would have been you you would see me out or like try. Maliit na. kasi mundo dito. Oo, yun yeah. yung problem eh. Yeah. Yeah. Maliit ng mundo. Yeah, even if you date a Filipino, yeah, no one will know or no one cares. They're just supportive. Yeah. Bahala ka. Everyone's like, like grinding there and having their own problems or whatever. Yeah. So wala. It's a perfect situation. So guys, go to New York. <laughs> or then hope right now. we get to meet Kenny also. So yeah. <laughs> How so, do you feel about sorry? I have a question on family. How do you feel about being set up? Because mm-hmm. common pressures is like people trying to set you up with someone, a doctor, a lawyer, whatever yeah. person that you know passed a re- resume to them. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you feel about it? Okay, basayo or na set up kana ba? Honestly, I, I don't think hindi pa ako na set up. Cause like I think my friends are too scared na magkamali sila ng isa set up. <laughs> <laughs> like, but yeah, I've I've but I think right but now, now I'm you're little, open to it. I'm I'm more open to it. But then, um, I think it depends on the circumstance. I don't like kasi na people tell me like who it is already or whatever. Just I still love the part na it's so blind date. It. Serendipitous. <laughs> I still wow. want that part. So, <laughs> so Jeff, you, yeah. Uh, yeah. Parang, parang it's not as genuine. I don't know. I just have that notion. But I'm, so I'm more Trish, open. If, now. if you're game to get set up, tell be specific. What's your type, though? So if people, <laughs> yeah. people are looking for you over there. Or I don't even that. know why we're here. We should just like let oh, us take over. <laughs> so we'll get you. It's the Trish yeah. show. <laughs> we'll get to you guys. Oh, so, what's your type? Be specific. Yes, Trish, what is it? Be specific. Not, not physical yet. Ah. Just like mm-hmm. more on the character side. I think it's important for me the person has to have faith. Um, and em- for me, emotionally mature is super important. Like, he's self assured, he's committed, he's independent, he recognizes his flaws, and then and accepts your something like that. Uh, I like someone with a good sense of humor. Um, and for me, like, it's super important if you you have, like, similar life and and life vi- vision and values. Because, like, I think Bea knows this. Like, we grew up in a very, very close-knit family and, like, with very strong values and morals. So, for me, it's super important that you're aligned in that aspect. Because, like, like, for example, even, like, for me, politically, we have to have somewhat of an alignment in there. Because if not, oh, my gosh, I'm going to go crazy. I'll probably be just debate with that person forever. Yeah. Bawal if DDS, I will say that already out loud. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so what <laughs> Please message me for bookings ng date ni Ate Trish. Okay, Ay, thank no. you very much. Pero physical, wala? None at all? Ah, uh, physical. <laughs> I'm super into tesoy, guys. And, oh, tesoy. Uh, okay. I, I'm super into someone who dresses up really, really well. Chris like, Evans, though. Oh, Chris Evans. I'm going to call Chris Evans. Oh, my. If you can, Chris Evans. He's also a crypto guy. Yeah, I need to know Bitcoin. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> That's my requirement. I don't know. I Okay. Um, all right, Chessie, let's go, let's go on to you a little bit, Chessie. How did you know that... You're, you're the married one. How did you know that he was the one? What was the moment? Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure if Love I share this, but time. you've been uh, made aware of my story with Tito, but um, I met him when he crashed a party in my house. Oh. And so that same day, he met my whole family. Um, and he was absolutely not my type physically. That's what I was going to say immediately. <laughs> like, okay, the complete opposite. And so for me, the fact now we talked until like 6 a.m., I think. So I met him at like 11 p.m., 12 a.m. probably. And we were talking the whole night. I mm. felt that was like a something I wouldn't have been able to uh, sustain as a conversation with other people. So parang, I think there was a really spark there. So I knew I was, I was with someone that I'd probably end up with. So that same day that I met them, I was like, I'm going to marry that guy. And I said that out loud with my mom around and my siblings. Um, so that's how I knew. So she knew already. already. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I I'm just knowing exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I said, like, I imagine my life immediately, like, like, parang may big, um, how do you say that? 
Parang you you see your whole future immediately. Like my montage, kana. Yeah, yeah, parang oh, okay, this is it. <laughs> what that? So what did they say? What did yeah. they say when you said when you announced that I'm gonna marry this guy? So they were like. I, I think they kind of realized parang there was something there too. Like uh, I think they were all. I mean, it was Steph's party actually. She was a, I don't know, second year high school Steph and yeah. party girl na siya. And so we're having wow. in the house. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think they were all quite happy um, to see me with Sito. And the more, because we we like to invite people over in our house so that my family, my parents especially, get to know the people we're with. So, so over time, they really saw how nice of a guy Sito is. Super patient, super. Parang won't mean any harm to anybody. So it was so easy to love him and like uh, accept him in the family. I'd say. How about the other days? I mean, how was Chaski? I'm wondering, like, what were the challenges in your relationship? Because he seemed so nice. It was like perfect when you first hit it off. What were the challenges? Because you were together for what, 10, 12, 12 years? 10, 10, 11 years. That, yeah, that long, year. long time. And I'm sure it wasn't always easy. It what? was very tough, actually. Um, I think the the pinaka difficult part, which was um, like a common thread throughout the years, was the fact that. Sito was a little younger um, than me, so he he was studying like he was a year behind. So then, parang when I moved to a different life stage, like I'm already working, he's still studying. And then when I was already progressing to like other companies or moving to Singapore, he was you know still figuring things out for himself. So I think that was a big challenge, and that's why maybe a lot of people say it's nice to date an older guy. But I did the exact opposite, <laughs> um, like someone who's like still trying to figure things out. So. That entailed a lot of patience, I would say. Um, and then the difficult part is definitely moving to Singapore without any definite plans. Mm. Um, and then I left him behind uh, in the Philippines. So that was quite tough because I, I, I thought I was going to go here for a year. And then he was like, okay, I'm ready to welcome you back in a year. But then I said, <laughs> um, can you just follow me here? And he was like, this is not part of the plan. <laughs> Uh, so that was quite difficult for us because I mean LBR it it was like we did it for two years I think. I have two oh. follow up questions. I have two. I'm intrigued. I want to learn from this. Number one is emotional maturity because you talked about how dating a younger person it that was a challenge. How do you match it? Because I've dated <laughs> like people have dated younger people and then older people, but it's all about emotional maturity. How did you align? And that now you're kind of in a you're in a stable place. Panaba. Hmm. So I maybe I'm gonna relate it to one of the questions earlier. Like, what is the biggest um, I guess the best advice I got for a relationship? It's a lot about parang, there's no such thing as on like over communication basically. So so Sita and I are like super love to discuss stuff um very, very specifically. Like kite I'm not I'm not the type because who would let any problem pass overnight like i'm a very passionate person person in the relationship so it's a lot about you know throwing ideas and really having a good discussion over what is the situation and how we can resolve it together i think that's super big um but the funny thing i think also is um tito and i love to plan things together so Hmm. We have a spreadsheet of stuff that we want to accomplish in life, what? which we keep, <laughs> which we keep every year, <laughs> whether it's for our relationship or for life. So, but I think that oh. puts things into perspective, especially if he's a little younger. He needs a bit more guidance, I would say, before. And then it's nice <laughs> to spell things out in a spreadsheet. Yeah. It's a very literal thing, but it helps. I tell you guys. I love this. Actually, may na ng gumawa sa ng ganyan na spread parang ano uh, workshop. Um, wow. It helps. It, helps. <laughs> it definitely See, you need to be on the same page. But yeah. just here, I'm wondering LDR. You talked about LDR, and a lot of people are in that situation about LDR. Hmm. What? How does how one did you survive? survive? How does one survive LDR? Oh, Club? I always okay. tell this to my friends. Like, yeah. have milestones or important stuff that you can look forward to together. Mm. Like, it can be like, okay, let's be LDR indefinitely and bahala na if someone mm. goes home or someone um, visits, whatever. So, Sito and I would make it the point now, once a quarter, either someone visits Singapore or I would go home there. That's one important thing. Because if parang walang sparks of hope, parang... 
there's nothing to go on with that i think that was a big problem the mm-hmm. other point is also like um because we did ldr when we were younger when i was in college for for jta and back then parang i was on my phone 24 7 just trying to talk to him but i think oh, when no. we got older we learned to like trust each other and have their own space as well um parang we're not super to talk on like making sure we know everything that's going on in their lives but giving them a bit of space to just be normal and have their own life also without forgetting mm-hmm. the other person so about going back though to meeting like he met your parents um right off the bat so Stefan Chesky, what's your go-to way of like meeting the parents and vice versa? Or your I'm partners starting. meeting your parents? Oh, really? <laughs> Start muna. No. Yeah, I think because we all grew up, like since high school, we would all have these house parties and then all of our friends would come together. So my friends are also my sister's friends. It's just that easy in the house. And see, Mama is super open. So when we have parties at home, they would both be present and they would be drinking with our Mm. friends so there was always that um openness with each other so that whenever we bring someone in it was really um in an environment that was so welcoming and Mm -hmm. warm so it was so easy to open up and then introduce people what about the other way around style para agad-agad gusto kayo ng parents ng significant other niyo (laughs) at a chest um, come with gifts. <laughs> Don't come empty handed. <laughs> come with gifts. Did I get caught? Uh, but you know what, me? I, I like to research on um, my partner's family, right? So I want to have something like I want to have a conversation starter. And so, parang, I want to know, okay, maybe what are our common interests? So, parang, it doesn't feel so dry when you sort of come into the home and you know start building a relationship with them. So having a genuine mm-hmm. interest on in the people that you're going to be with, I think it's important. So yeah, a bit of research, I think, helps. Do um, your research. <laughs> do your research. Tamayan. But yeah, I think ask help from your partner. Yeah. They should be yeah, able to give you right. tips. It, yeah. I thought I had a partner, but... But yeah. Chris Evans, though. Did he ask the si Chris Evans? Oh, Evan. no. Grabe naman. Hindi pwede yan. <laughs> and then, Wait, hi, Bea, hi, Chrissy. hi everyone yeah but i think it, it helps um i think i'm professional or i know a lot just because of my my our our clients um hmm. and a lot of my friends so i think what helps i i would like to think i'm very good with parents <laughs> it's it's a skill hmm. actually um yeah it's there's a certain way of hemas with with entering like just like in anything like Regardless if it's like the family or what, or a new person, so that that curiosity has to be there, I think. And then be so, generally, diba? Kasi parang yeah. I think people kasi are so pressured to fit in, and yeah. I think just just having those tidbits of information helps, and you get that from your partner. Actually, I'm super curious about what you said, Trisha. You deal with a lot of clients, but. Um, after this step, um, somebody yeah. is very curious about your love story. Ayun. Oh my gosh, love okay, story. But, but Trish, so you said you, you, so Trish, first you said that you meet with a lot of clients. <laughs> I have a random question. Can okay, you go. tell if a marriage would work based on, or how happy a marriage would be based on how the guy looks for his engagement ring or picks his ring? <laughs> I think it's it's somewhat of a good indication where how in love they are. I mean, yeah. you would go get into certain situations. It's it's really I think one blessing we have that Steph and I get to do every day is to really constantly meet all of these different people and they mm. share with you. It's actually more of a relationship with our clients. So it's mm. like you get to know their love story and and they give it to you off the bat because. Because sometimes they're so particular. As in, you you guys would be so amazed at how particular men are sometimes. And they're so obsessive. And I think that's one good indication that they really want um, the best for their partners. There there have been clients who have been more transactional, like, pwede na yan, or whatever. So sometimes, mm. pag ganon, medyo, you can sense, ah, uh, ganun ba to ka serious? So like, for example, I had that client, that last week i hope he's not listening but like i had that <laughs> client and then he was like 
Um, okay. Yeah, are you excited? Uh, usually, the guys are like crying when they've opened the box for the yeah, first nervous. time. Yeah, wow. nervous. They're, they're shaking. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, then, and then for this client, he was like, "Sakso lang." Tapos parang sabi ko, "Why naman?" Ginan ko. Tinanong ko lang. I just wanted to ask further, and he was like, <laughs> "He said, ah, cause, 'Cause I got her pregnant, ganon." And then parang oh. gets parang somewhat you would know where it's going. Yeah. But parang parang hopefully. Hopefully, though, it's still gonna work out, right? But like, I think yun, there is some indication when when they come to you. Um, but how about Steph and Trish? Are there any moments that most memorable to you? That parang oh my god, this is like the best moment ever, like most intense um, ring reveal or most intense husband or really, partner. Yeah, that's what we say. It's um, most of the time when someone gets engaged, what we all see or whatever they post on social media, it's just the girl getting surprised. But Kamini added this, we have this way now. We really cherish um, that moment wherein we show the ring for the first time to the guy. Because um, not a lot of people know that guys can be that emotional too. And they do <laughs> shed a tear from time to time. And like what Atatrish was saying, that they shake. And um, yun nga, even with the entire process, na, you just hear some guys repeatedly saying, I just want the best for her. Even if konare, they they stretch out their budget a little bit, may mga ganun, which we always say, don't stretch out your budget. We can find a way to work out with it. But they're like, yeah. but I really want to meet this um, thing that she requested because I want the best for her. And or when they say things like, this is really her. This is her in a ring. And those things are like, wow, ang, ang sarap pakinggan. And it just makes our work super worth it and uh, fulfilling. Actually, before this episode, there was one question that for you guys. Um, I wrote it down. <laughs> do you think? <laughs> do you think like a hope like Sana, oh, Sana one day, the yeah. Sana one. Do you guys yeah. think I'll capture that, that for you, Bea. <laughs> yes. Oh, go. So, do you guys think that your partners or future partners will feel pressured in giving you the mm. perfect engagement ring because you guys are in the in- industry? Yeah. What's how's that gonna work? <laughs> yes and no. Well, how was mm. it with Ate Chess? Um, for Ate Chess, kasi, she was already telling us what she wanted. Um, she was sending us pegs. Uh, we knew that it had to be a cushion cut. It had to be like a double band or a split shank. Um, so we had those all noted down. But of course, there's pressure. Sila na, they have to give the best. But we don't pressure naman the guy that way. We never tell them that it has to be this standard, this standard. It's really more on what are what is um, within your capacity and your heart to give? Yeah. Um, that's always where we will meet you. And I think swear to you guys, because maybe they can get it at cost. I don't know. Excuse me, Jao. At cost the voice. At cost. Pa madali na because we all know what each what we all want as in for mga rings. Yeah, Kaya easy yun for Sito. He just had to uh-huh. say, "I'm ready." Yeah. Yeah, you just have to have that talk with our mom and our dad, and then one of mm-hmm. us. Who are we talking to, Jao? Hi, Tita. Oh my si Jao. God, si Jao. <laughs> no, no Mama, pressure. Mama, lunch daw ni Jao. <laughs> No pressure. Yeah, that's, the, muna, <laughs> that's the topic. That's the topic today. Just do it in the right time when Steph is ready and what she yeah. wants. <laughs> ready <laughs> na siya, girl. <laughs> ready na siya. May timeline si Steph. So speaking of Steph. End of you wanna pala. Speaking of you, Steph, we had our question. What's your love story? Tell us in very, uh, no, so much, de- a lot of detail. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of detail? Oh my gosh. Basta, oh, I met Jao, we were, ano pa lang, we were in high school. Mm. Yeah, he was dating my teammate. Sinabi ko na eh. But yeah, he was dating my teammate that time. And then I was dating someone else. And then um, we got together na nang, I was college. I was third year, I think. So it was a big jump because he was also um, studying abroad. So, ayun. So we also had LDR. Ito nga si Jebby, eh. yung mga comments. Nakaka-distract pala yung comments. Wait, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, what, what did you like about Jao? Because then we can yeah. ask Jao later what he liked about you. But you first. What did you Ito like align kami ni Jao eh. There was this um, attraction. 
that we um, couldn't properly explain. Even even today, we get, couldn't fully explain what it was. In fact, um, I remember when we were already together, my mom reminded me nga ina, you know, I already met Jao before when you were in high school. As in, I literally told down my mom na, oh my, this is Jao, he's, he's my future boyfriend. I sinabi ko daw yon, which I didn't remember until they told me, and then Jao told me at a separate time. So ever since then, we've always had that um, attraction um, that was really parang, un- undeniable na attraction. And then getting to know him even more, getting to know him even more was really, you know, has been the most, the biggest and most pleasurable and exciting <laughs> experience. Wow. wow. Okay, Jao. Hi, Jao. Jao, how about you, Jao? Please. Wait, I, before... I think si Jao, I'm going to propose to Jao after this. We can always get you on the stage if you're ready. You can propose now. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> you can show the ring. Okay, wait. You know what I noticed about the three of you? You you all know what you want. It's like Chesky said mm-hmm. from the first time that she met Sita, she knew exactly like that he was gonna, you know, her whole life for them. And you also, Steph, like you, you kind of knew the that he would be your future boyfriend. And Trish, I think in due time you will know exactly. You will know, girl. <laughs> and I think sometimes women don't spend their time knowing what they want. Kaya sila na papa Yeah. Yeah. Diba? yeah. yeah. Or parang afraid. To yeah. um, explore what they want, or maybe afraid na there's someone exactly like what they want, and then yeah. parang realizing na ito na pala nasa uh, harap na. Hi, um, Chucky. I miss you, Ma. I hear you. We're yeah, virtual oh. on stage. We can stream it. <laughs> Wait, I have, a, um, I have a question. Um, I think I brought this up to you when we did the pre-interview. There was like a one photo that I saw a long time ago. I, I didn't meet Zhao yet, but I kind of knew he was such a good guy because I don't know, did he, when your, um, your ex passed away, did he go with you to the cemetery? Can you talk a little bit about that? Because I thought that was so special that he, I don't. I didn't even meet him. I was like, "This guy is a keeper." Like, mm-hmm. I don't even know this person. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. So, um, to those who don't know, I before Zhao, my boyfriend was AJ, and then um, he passed away tragically in an accident. And then um, after a couple of years, or actually before he passed away, him and Zhao already met. It was just mm-hmm. one of those things. Na you know, one of those house parties. I think it was my birthday even. And then uh, ever since that happened to me, and then ever since I met Zhao, there was always that um, acknowledgement of what happened to me. And I feel like that's important because I feel like during the time that um, I, I haven't met Zhao yet, a lot of people were just avoiding the topic entirely. But here comes Zhao and he was just so upfront about it, but always with that amount of care and respect for what I went through. And it's not, he even wrote me a letter at some point, which I think not a lot of people know or not, not maybe not even my family, but he wrote me a letter. Um, he read it to me the night of Pia's debut. Wow. Because mm-hmm. the next day he was gonna fly out. I know out everything about now. you and I don't know this. I wanna read this. <laughs> oh, okay, tell he, us. He wrote me a letter and then mentioning um, what happened. And then he said that um, he knew that we were so happy together, me and AJ, and that if he would, if I would let him, he'd like to take care of me. So that was super. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he has the alam alam niya yan, alala niya yan. So yeah, meron meron doon and then I just it was just so natural for me to trust him and he understood that it was not something that anyone just moves on from and it was more of something that we had to move forward with as a couple. And that's what I really liked about our relationship. 
I think I need a drink. Ah. Nainggit ako. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only time I am a big fan of the letter writing and yeah, yeah. me all me too. Me too. Now I'm a big fan of Jow. Grabe, oh, yeah. Grabe, Jow, ah. Oh, oh. Okay, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Give me a treasure wallet. <laughs> na may naman na. Cute story. Totohalan, nawala ako sa, ano ko, nakilig ako masyado. Um, so, I'm assuming that this, that moment, I mean, maybe before that, pa, you knew that he was, like, for keeps, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, there, at, syempre, there was that difficulty na, yun nga, coming from um, a loss. And yeah. then entering into a relationship I knew was gonna be uh, LDR. So, champagne, siguro naman like my next relationship. I didn't want it to be with someone who was far away, right? But ato naman, I I had that assurance that even if that would be the case, parang it didn't feel right for me to just let go of that opportunity to be with this person just because we were gonna be uh, physically distant. Wow, ayoko na. <laughs> Actually, the, I mean, you three have had a lot of luck in love. Like, whether like or, you know, you had a good adventure, I think, or still do. You know, that's really great. I will walk out now, Shari. This is too good. <laughs> <laughs> so, where are crushes? So, so, Chesky and Steph, you're both in happy relationships. Is there something, though, that you miss about being single? Yeah. Not at all for me. No, <laughs> that's not. <laughs> Iba. Just, just mm. Be careful, darling. Yeah, this is not cut. Iko meron. Ano sayo? Yeah, like just like not having to. Well, me in particular, it's not like just dating someone. It's actually living with someone. So now I have to really think about another person. Like, what is he gonna eat? Um, how are we gonna? <laughs> like, what are we gonna do for the weekend? <laughs> like, there's a lot of. There's a lot of planning that's involved to like live with someone like him. So, so wala pa I, I really spend a lot of time thinking about what's gonna happen with us, like planning for the future, and also like on the daily daily basis, like stuff we need to do. So, when preparing, you wanna have a bit of moment for yourself, and that doesn't come as often. Except recently, when Sita started riding his bike, and I did not see him for the whole, the whole day. Okay, two things that suddenly I feel so free and suddenly single. Is he to just, just does Bitcoin whatever stuff every day and cycling and he goes out for like six to eight hours and okay fine I'll I'll just have all this time for myself I guess yeah you need so, it right you need a bit yeah. of time whether you're single taken or married yeah you you need that. <laughs> wait can um, we yeah. go on uh, go, go on no, go ahead Bea. I was wondering about fighting. Because, like, we've obviously talked about the killing part. When you do fight with your significant other, what is your fighting style? And how do you deal? Do you tell your siblings about your fight or just keep it between the two of you guys? For Chesky and stuff. At the chest with mm. I, I want to <laughs> tell someone so I can process it. But I think okay. I should be very conscious because, parang, I guess a lot of people say you shouldn't take out your the your dirty laundry right but like i mean fine for me naman, i i also need someone to basically get a third person's perspective just so i know that i'm not always just firing taking over the relationship and being so righteous so so a lot of times i do reach out to my mom to my siblings just to have a like banter about what's going on and maybe if there are ways i can see things differently uh, but si mama naman by default, uh, kakampi siya kay Sito and Jao. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> All of us, I think we always like, I think mas may karinyo kami with the, the boys. Because we always think at kayo. I'm very like, aggressive. Ganon. I'm like, yeah. no, I, 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 we, I we know we're emotional all so fast though. So yeah. yeah. Parang they're like, um, Sito wouldn't do that to you, okay? Sito's right. You're wrong again this time. <laughs> Everyone sides with Sito. Hmm. True. 
Sure, sure, I have a question one for, for you. I remember okay. we, hung out, we hung out a few years ago and you always yep. you were saying that you're very torpe. Yeah. As a girl. So how was yeah. your dating persona and how did you fix your torpiness? Hmm. I think York? it took a, I think it took some time. I think kasi, um for a while I didn't know what I want. So mm -hmm. so I think it so I just put up a wall that I was either torpe or I was I didn't need anyone. So parang I I was walking around feeling like or acting like apparently my friends told me this. I walk around acting like um I don't need anybody or like I'm okay as my, my I'm okay alone. Parang ganon. And then I learned na parang but the reality is I wanted a partner. But that's not mm. what I was giving off or yeah, that wasn't the energy that mm. I was showing. So guys were scared. To, to, to even try. <laughs> but for me, kasi, parang for me, um, kailangan, you break that wall. <laughs> yeah. Like, kailangan you also try to show me na you're interested. Kasi parang for a while, I didn't see that. But, yun, later on, I realized, I have to give the, also parang, parang, ano, fishing lang yan. Kailangan bigyan ng something for them to cling on to. If there's nothing <laughs> that they will buy, <laughs> see, there's nothing. Diba? Hindi uh -oh. yung pwedeng hulaan. Diba? Hindi pwedeng manghula lang sila forever. So, yun. I think it's also a party There's my responsibility. To bite pala. Bite. Ah, okay ba, Jelly? <laughs> <laughs> Always bait something. Is that uh -oh. the thing? Yeah, you have to. Yeah, yeah. You need the bait then. You need to show you you have some interest. Or just no. like a small window for them to enter. Otherwise, syempre, they wouldn't. So I think it's also like, goes both ways. So yeah, but I di nang siguro ako ganon katorpe. Sakto lang. <laughs> so kaya so kaya naman ba labas yung Kenny dito sa Manila, Trish? Yeah, uh, labas na natin si Kenny. When everyone's vaccinated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or maybe I will just leave and like try it out somewhere else. Bea, tayo ng dalawa. Sama ko no. dyan. Sama ko yeah. dyan. Bea, you said you're willing to be set up. Baby. They will set you up. Yeah, oh. I think Bea and I are meant for oh no people abroad. Feeling ko. <laughs> Feeling ko. Pag-uwi si Bea. No, Philippine. <laughs> okay. All right. Can I ask my favorite question, Shari? Go for it, Bea. Go. Um, okay, guys. Let's go deep a little bit. What is okay. love for the three of you? Maybe we can That's start okay. with um, Steph. Let's start with Steph. Gana lalim pala na itong. Lalim, lalim ang portion pala. <laughs> Ito, wala itong kilig. Kilig na... Sobrang kilig na, hindi ko na kaya. <laughs> okay, love um, for me, I think uh, when there's love in a relationship, um, it allows two people to grow into better persons and also allows for um, the relationships around them to deepen and flourish even more. So parang it's important na you find someone who will really give you that space and give you that um, realization and visualization of who you could be as a person. So that for me is love. Yeah, definitely the flourishing is so good. I think mm -hmm. that we don't ask enough if that relationship is actually making you bloom, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Trish. Trish. Yeah. Hmm, beauty queen answer. Can yeah. I copy copy Steph's answer and then I'll add? Um, I think, well, the love that I know is what I feel and see and receive from my family and, and my friends. So for me, it's, and, and the way I see, like, for example, my favorite would be my grandparents. Like, it's unconditional. So for me, love is unconditional. It's hard to put in words. I think the more that like, if you are able to label it in it, and for example, like really capture it in one sentence. For me, that's not it. Like it's something that you cannot really fully grasp or yeah, explain. So mm. yeah, it's 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 a fee a fuzzy feeling that you couldn't explain. And 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 it's um a commitment and it's consistency. That's what I saw from my grandparents, like from from till they were nineties. Like yeah incredible love and, and and that's i think my sisters 
we all saw that kind or was exposed to that kind of love from from our yeah. families it's mostly successful um relationships so we've always seen love as like oh parang whoever you are with you na yon because my parents were like what nine years dating and then my mom first and last boyfriend niya si papa so that's just just how we grew we grew up with that kind of like environment so yeah i like that consistency also mm -hmm. that's a good one how about you chesky what is love i think mine's so so different because i'm in a married <laughs> i'm like in, in a in a marriage but like i would say it's like just really waking up every day and deciding to be with someone just as they are like accepting them for all the everything with their flaws their their quirks whatever all their the past whatever um they are as persons at that very moment and not really hoping for them to change or anything um also like knowing their secrets and actually not judging them for it even if other people do um so i think those are like super important things for me because like i guess when i was very young i had when i was dating sito and obviously that wasn't so easy i had this impression that okay I'm, i'm 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 holding on to him hoping that he will i don't know transform to some other guy probably i've been exposed to when i was younger or other people around me but i decided na parang when i shifted my mindset on really just accepting him for everything for that that for me is love and and more importantly love is waiting for a guy for 11 years when you're actually ready to get married in five years time so, <laughs> i think that is love guys <laughs> you know um, true love is sita's love parang for five years at that chess was like constantly when are you proposing to me so like non-stop i think Patience, even guys. Like, like honestly like our trip Hello. when when he was about to propose he was telling us chess was telling us like if he doesn't propose during this trip we will break up ganyan. Pero nagpanils ka yan. We were in Europe. <laughs> yeah, there was a part of me that was still hoping, but then I didn't really think it was hap gonna happen, but it did. Thank goodness. Muti na lang. I love okay. that. That is the most unique answer I've ever. Love is waiting five, six more years. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, Gabby. So guys, we are towards the end of our conversation, but we have one last question. Um, well, yeah. two questions. Two, uh, go for okay. it. I think that's a good question. What do you guys, uh, what do you think you guys, uh, why do you guys think you guys attracted such good men? Any advice for Tisha who is listening <laughs> here? And <laughs> hey, follow, Tisha. Uh, follow up question would be um, Was it always easy for you girls to know who's the genuinely good guys and who is not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alam mo, meron na akong boyfriend, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, for you, when I'm you know, you can spot the bullshit right away. Yeah. Nama yan. Uh, so, who will answer? How, I, I think it's kind of um easy for us to spot the good guys because we are so upfront as girls, as women, as in kami. That was also how we were raised. Um, wala kasing, parang, we had to really like peel all the layers off um, with the guys that we dated and then even the guys that we are with now. And I really try to even have that conversation na, who are you really? And what is this front, if ever there are any fronts? That really like calling them out for it. That's just the personality that I've always seen in each of us that I think going into relationships has been really so helpful. Because ang hirap, they're really, syempre, people try to bring their best um, selves forward, but not always the truest versions um, oh, that you'd so. like to get. Oh, so I think it's really that, like really calling out the bullshit, even if you have to get into those difficult conversations. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Anything to add? Have it. Yeah, I think Steph said it perfectly. Perfect. <laughs> oh, call out kasi tayo. Medyo, medyo ma call out tayo. Eh. We're very blunt that we yeah. Yeah, we're a, a bit confrontational also um, with our relationships, even with each other. Parang, bakit ka kasi ganyan? Bakit ka blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But I think we were yeah like like adding to what Steph said like we were never raised to have like ano parang a front like 
and and to a lot of guys or it's it's very intimidating and and it takes like a real man to like Sito and Zhao it takes a real man to like um uh, handle women like us because like we're really aggressive and and we know what we want and and like for me like I can spot it instantly so I'd rather not my waste my time and it was really my choice to go through a relationship that I know wasn't going anywhere because I'm always in the looking ahead and end games. So if it's not someone I feel like I'll spend the rest of my life with, I won't waste my time. And of course, it's ng standards ni Sito and ni Jao. So I have to bring in someone that can can level up to, to or, or be at par with no it. So pressure. it's really difficult. Yeah, it's no DDS. That's the main yeah, thing. No, <laughs> that's the main filter. Reaffirm by Bea. Easy. Step one, yun. Oh, okay. So, Bea, we are towards the end. So, thank you, guys, Trish, Chesky, mm. and Steph. Thank you so much. So, Bea, we are towards the end, and we are back to our favorite part, our takeaways. So, Bea, what did you learn from our friends today? You always put me in the spot, but this right, has I been... I was first the this, past few episodes. How was that been, like? <laughs> this has been the richest episode I've ever uh, experienced. Like, I think one of the things I hear from all of you is that Number one, the bluntness or the transparency. I think if you're not transparent, it will be hard to attract someone good. And first, before being transparent, be a good person also. Yeah. So you can attract a good person. I think that's my main thing. With the pressures, I, I think we know how to deal with that already as we become more mature. But the main thing is be upfront, don't waste your time, and don't BS. Yeah. I'm going to be blunt. See, my advice is blunt now. Yeah. <laughs> Share you. I don't know. I think I'm just I know, like you, the three of you guys seem very confident in all stages. Mm. So I feel like you be confident, work on yourself, and eventually, and read out the bullshit, and then know what you want. You'll you end up with a good guy. Fingers crossed. Like that, like that, Sana. But um, what did I learn? You know, be confident, be smart, um, and know what you want. I think that's what I learned today. Yeah. And emotional maturity. I think I got that from Chesky. I, I love the whole spreadsheet. I'm going to borrow that spreadsheet. Just take yeah. out your book. <laughs> she made me do that before. I think you know what? a template. Eh. It worked. Did it work? I'm not going to I guess every level is on it. Yeah, every level is on it. I love spreadsheets, guys. Works. I was like, this is like a contract. Then we agree, Sita, we're gonna do this. <laughs> I'll be a spreadsheet. I will. Oh. I will make a spreadsheet and share it to all the first how to find out what you want in a man. I think that's important. And the mm-hmm. spreadsheet to align your emotional maturity. Yeah. Spreadsheet. Okay, so guys, thank you ladies for joining us and sharing thank your you. wisdom and personal love stories. So next week is our final episode for the season. May pa season kami. We wanted to put it at the end. May season. <laughs> so, we talked, so we talked to two eligible bachelors and a bachelorette, Ria Taide and Matt Laurel. And we asked them, how does one get the last rose? Bachelor bash at yung like that. So wow. Trish, how do you join us as a bachelorette? How do you guess? I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess. For exposure game. <laughs> Go for it. We don't have to hunt up ni Shari in this show. So uh, <laughs> we're coming up with something in the next season about <laughs> blind dating. But uh-huh. guys, Stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Instagram, and Twitter. Of course, send us your love problems and successes also. We'll keep you anonymous if you'd like. And then every Sunday, we send out a newsletter. And actually, this newsletter, I'm excited because we have an interview with Bianca King. And she talks about how she manifested her very good-looking partner and she's also wait, wait, you know i have to say i feel like steph and chesky you guys kind of manifested your relationships also i mean you yeah. kind of said that this guy i'm gonna he's gonna be my boyfriend you said i'm gonna marry him maybe, maybe yeah. i'm gonna just declare it out there you Kaka just claim it out there years. i don't give up hands up, hands up. Hands up. someone manifested for me i'm over it <laughs> I know. See, I'm mama, mama asks us to manifest okay. yeah. I, think, well, I, think I think i, I realized that how yeah. is it 
how is it to manifest if Duterte comes out on the news and just crushes my manifestation? <laughs> Ignore him. Ignore him. Filter out. Know, Filter man. out the noise. I need a concrete plan from our president so I can have a love life. Please. No, my, our my main takeaways from Chesky and Steph, I will manifest. That's what yes. Yeah. Okay. Bea, we need to leave the country. That's the solution. Uh, let's so go. we can let's date. Go let's go boat. where Kara is. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in. Go where so, there's yeah. no COVID. Yes, hmm. guys, check out the newsletter. And then, yung mga taong nagbabasa ng Power of Now na hindi kaya, I'm gonna break it down for you. Power of Now. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Yan. <laughs> Tatapusin ko na yung libro. <laughs> and of course, we send you hope, happiness, and humor all in your inbox. So it's a guide for the modern-day woman na hindi nalulungkot at nabubutol. Yeah. yeah so stay thirsty, everyone. Yeah. Thanks for watching, Thanks, guys. Bea. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, Thank guys. You, Bye, guys. Bye. Thirsty and 30.